Tonight, AIDS has become a manageable chronic disease for some people, a huge reversal from just a few years ago. But just how long-lasting are the effects of those antiviral drugs? Dr. Max Gomez is here with the latest front in the battle against AIDS. That's right, Jim and Sue. In the last six years or so, AIDS has gone from a uniformly fatal disease to one that resembles diabetes in some ways, still life-threatening, but often treatable with drugs. But those drugs have a lot of problems, and they may actually be increasing HIV infections. Mark DeSola Price looks the picture of health, but beneath the healthy exterior... I've been HIV positive for 20 years. It's an image at odds with what most people think a person with HIV or AIDS looks like. What's kept Mark alive and in pretty decent health? When I started, I started on the multi-drug treatment about six years ago. I think I've been on, I think, six or seven different combinations since then. And, you know, I've been very lucky. They've been very effective at fighting HIV. Mark's referring to what's commonly called the HIV cocktail, various combinations of about 15 different antiviral drugs that have revolutionized the treatment of AIDS. The drugs we have are a great thing. I mean, the difference between now and 1995, when 1995 I had two people dying a week in my practice, um, and now um, I don't think we've had a death this year. It's just mind-boggling. In fact, Dr. Grossman says that some of his patients can now expect to live a normal lifespan, but many will not do as well. Elaine Bryant has had a much harder time with HIV drugs. They've caused the fat in her face to disappear, among other problems. Uh, fatigue was always uh, a pretty heavy complaint, um, what I call agita, uh, mm -hmm. you know, indigestion. Um, and over the last couple of years, I've uh, dropped a lot of weight. A life-threatening drawback to this therapy is drug resistance, although it's more of a problem with people who started out taking monotherapy, just one drug as opposed to the multi-drug cocktails. And ironically, the life-saving drugs can also cause life-threatening side effects. We may be increasing people's risk of heart attacks. We may be um, um, we're creating people who have diabetes with these drugs. The drugs have to be taken on a very strict schedule. Missing a single dose can breed a deadly resistant virus. And even more frightening, HIV infections are again rising. Some say people believe that even if they get infected, the drugs will keep them alive. And that's a very dangerous game. The drugs don't work for everyone. You might get a resistant virus or the side effects may be intolerable. And all of this, of course, is completely dependent on having access to those drugs, which a lot of AIDS patients do not have. All right, Dr. Max, thank you. You bet. One way people can help the AIDS walk in New York is only three days away. It's Sunday, May 19th at 9 a.m. in Central Park. If you'd like to get involved, call 212-807-WALK or go to their website at AIDSWalk.net. WNBC4 is a proud sponsor of the walk. And coming up at 6.30 on NBC Nightly News, Lisa Myers with a special fleece. Way people can... Now has an exterior. Chronic disease for some people. Uh